What if there's an AI tool to kind of complete images, to uncrop them if you will? Well, there kind of is. And let's check this out. First thing I'm going to do in Diffusion B is I'm going to download an image I want to work on. So this is a Darth Vader style image. I'm going to save it to my desktop and let's pick a few other ones to work on here. You're going to go to clipdrop.co slash uncrop. So it's a free tool to utilize to uncrop your images. I believe they have uh, pricing that you can pay for, but you can use it for free. Uh, so let's give this a go. So I'm going to drag this image that I created in Diffusion B in here, and we'll try a few other ones as well. So uh, you essentially set the bounding box, like how wide or high you'd like this thing to be. Uh, I believe you can input the image manually here. So let's see how far can I make this thing go. So that's like the maximum frame height it looks like. All right, and then you just press next. And similar to Adobe, but for free, it will kind of look at the image, analyze it, and try to fill in the blank. So you do have a few options at the bottom that I'll show you what it can make. Some of these look a little wild. Um, so here are some options, like that one looks really cool. That one, not so much. That one's kind of interesting. And if you click to the right, it'll show you more options that you have available. So again, I believe if you sign up, it gives you a few more to utilize. I actually like this one. So let's save this one out. Now we can see the original on the left and the filled in using AI on the right. So again, this is created in Diffusion B, very small thumbnail. And now I have a full render of a person. It's added more details to the background. And you can see there is kind of a loss in detail. It gets a little blurry and fuzzy here and there. Uh, so you may have to kind of go back in and either using in painting or take it into photo P or Photoshop and kind of, uh, you know, copy some pieces over and kind of fix some of the background. But you can see the potential for fixing cropped images. So let's try another image out and see how that looks. You are limited to how many of these you can actually make, but there's a, you know, workarounds, either A, you sign up and get a few more generations, um, or if you're using a VPN, you can always change your location, or if you want to, you know, pay for the service. But just wanted to give you an idea what this thing can look like potentially. So it's just filled out a few more options. And again, if I click to the right, it'll generate some more images for me here. And some of these are kind of interesting. They'll give me some good starting points. So for me, I would use this as like a guide to paint on top of. So if you ever make some images, either using Diffusion B, Stable Diffusion, etc., cetera, uh, try this tool out for free and see if you can come up with some fun stuff. So I'm running my last little image through this just to see what it can kind of create here. And this was off of the uh, Frankenstein image I had made in Diffusion B. I'm gonna, my custom monster model that you can check out on Civit AI. And, oh, it made some interesting looking stuff. So, interesting, it's giving it like little weird characters behind them. I'll actually, I mean, that looks interesting. <laughs> I'll click this to the uh, right here just to see if it can make something else. I think we're gonna max out on how many I can make. That one's kind of trippy, okay. So it seems to be favoring adding other weird characters behind this character, but I kind of like this one. Kind of fits the aesthetic. And this feels like an interesting sticker or something to me. But anyway, I wanted to show you a quick tool that you can use for your own artwork. With that being said, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all soon.